Okay, today's video on a 97 Astro Van, we're gonna be replacing the door lock actuator on the slider door on the passenger side. I'm gonna set you on the tripod on the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to remove the door panel, how to access the wiring. Now we have another uh, door lock actuator that came off of one of our other vans off of Astro Quake. So we're gonna see if that one will fit in there. If not, we might have to modify it a little bit, but we'll take you on the inside. Okay, here we are on the inside of the door panel. We have six uh, Phillips head bolts. There are three behind this hinge and three over here. Then we have behind the ashtray, we have two more Phillips screws right here. Then we have four Phillips screws right behind this door lever. So we're gonna remove this and then we'll show you how to access the red. All right, now next part, you have a push pin right here, another push pin right here. I don't have them. They've already been removed, but all you have to do is take this, pull it down from the top, okay? You have a clip right here and another clip right here. Okay, so you just pull that down. Kind of pull this piece off. Kind of tug on it. And you gotta pull this plastic bezel up. Get that out of the way. And this whole panel should pull out. Now we can come through and access the door lever, the door actuator, which is right here. All right, this next part, you wanna open the door just a little bit. Make sure you unlock the door. We're going to pop it open just a little bit so that we can pull this panel off of the bottom. Okay. It should just pop out. All right, this next panel down here, you've got a couple little push pins at the bottom. All you got to do is just kind of tug on it and they'll pop off. Okay. I've had mine off several times. These things wear out quite often on this service van. I'm going to move that out of the way. Okay, now we want to just remove this dust cover. Gonna get that out of our way. Now our door lock actuator is sitting right here. You can see, when you move this back and forth, this is supposed to lock it. But it's just not doing anything. It's barely moving at all. See how it's completely stuck? So we're gonna have to drill out these uh, rivets to get that out. Okay, here is our other actuator, door lock actuator that we're gonna be using. And you can see where the rivets are. One here and one here, and it just sits like that. So we're gonna remove this. I'm gonna show you how to do it. You just wanna take a center punch, a hammer, and just kinda go in where the rivet is, right in the center, and just tap it in. All right, I'm gonna show you how to get these rivets out. A little stubborn, because there's a lot of flex in this panel. So just take a little two by four, and be careful to not put too much pressure on it, because this is the outside part of the panel and you don't want to put too much pressure on this and you know drive a dent through the other side but that'll just kind of help support it and get your center punch on there being stubborn it knows it's on camera but it's good that, that you guys see me fight it so that when you try to do it you'll understand. Okay, so it helps a lot to have some support behind it. I got the wrong center punch. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I decided to try a different plan of attack. If you can't get these to pop out, what you can do is use a grinder and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to grind this out. I'm going to probably pop off this piece of plastic. Not that big of a deal, but I'm just going to grind it, grind the rivet out.
All right, now that we've got this all drilled out, it's not my best option because now I have to paint this and kind of clean it up a little bit because it could rust. But once you got that ground out, you can pull out your actuator, push this little pin down right here, and it pops off. And then the new one, just plug right into here. And we'll just take it, you know, mount it in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over the bench and I'm going to show you how to weld on a couple little uh, bolts to the back side so that you put it in and then you can just put nuts on. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this bolt, I've grinded it down, I'm just going to set that on there. Then I'm going to take the nut, put it on the receiving end. I'm just going to tack weld it in place. Now not all, all of you are going to be able to do it this way. You could just do a nut and bolt and work it from behind. I just don't want to do that, so I'm going to weld it. This makes it a lot easier for me to assemble it. Okay? So all you need is just a couple little tacks. Well, just like that's good. All right, I'm just gonna tack weld the other bolt. All right, so I switched it over. This thing just comes off the back, simple like this. Okay, so I switched it over, welded that piece on there. Now, if you want to replace this with an aftermarket actuator, it's really easy to do. You just use this mounting hardware, bolt the new piece to this. You'll have to maybe drill some holes or whatever. But it's the same 12 volt system. So I've got a 12 volt battery right here, and I'll show you what it'll do. You just wire it up, okay? And so that's open. Reverse the polarity, and that's closed. So you can wire up an aftermarket one the exact same way, just the hardware might be a little bit different, but it's just two wires, simple 12 volt system operation. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. All right, so putting it back in is pretty much the same thing. You got your, your wire right here. It's gonna unhook this. Factory clip. I'm a little stubborn there. I'm gonna clip this back into its place. Then I'm going to take and slide it in from the front side. Line up the holes. Okay. Now remember, it wasn't designed to go in this way, so you may have to kind of finagle it a little bit if you decide to weld it like I did, just because those bolts are kind of in the way, but I can really get close there. Okay, so, all right, so there's that. And then it just hooks right up to this little, um, it's like a little metal rod coming down, pretty simple. I'm gonna put the bolts on, and because I welded the nuts, for the bolts from behind, uh, there won't, I won't have to use a wrench or anything on the back side. Now if you don't weld the bolts, you just have to use the open end wrench back here where my left hand is. But being that I welded it on, it's a pretty simple shot like this. Tighten it down, you're pretty much done. Uh, put the panel back together and give her a test run. All right, we just finished up the van. Um, actually, before we put it all back together, we took the latch out. Uh, sometimes these latches will get bound up, uh, get the grease and grime in there, and then they stop working. Uh, what actually caused this uh, motor to go bad was this lever right here. It was just gunked up and just full of goo, and so we had to pull the door jam apart to get that out. But I definitely recommend uh, cleaning that door latch that'll really help the new motor so they won't have problems um, anyway so hopefully you guys liked the video please thumbs up if you did and let me know uh, I, I enjoy your comments I read every one of them and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video bye